Hello, creative friends. My name is Sue Penn, and I'm a Free Spirit designer. I'm excited to let you know that Free Spirit is going to re-release my first line, Garden Bright. My husband and I are empty nesters. I have four grown children and eight grandchildren. My studio that you can see part of is in a building with 80 other artists. It's called Mainframe Studios near downtown Des Moines. It's a great creative space to be a part of. I've always loved to draw and paint. Um, I took my first sewing class in eighth grade where my brother actually got a better grade than I did, but that's another story. Um, I didn't sew again until I was first married, and then I started doing craft shows to make a little bit of extra money, and I'd go to Quilt Market to sell my craft patterns. I was at Market one time, and I walked by a booth and stopped and looked at the fabric and said, oh, I like your fabric, and the gentleman standing there said, we have three pattern people to design for us, and I said, well, I can do that. Um, I had no idea if I could, but that was the beginning of my fabric design career. In 2008, I started painting again, but my style was bright, funky, fun, mixed media, not realistic at all. I just felt like I was playing when I was doing painting. I decided to have some of my paintings scanned and printed digitally on fabric myself. I took those fabric samples to Quilt Market with the hopes of finding a company that would print my paintings. I met with Debbie Stark, the art director from Free Spirit, showed her my samples and she said, oh my goodness, you're a free spirit. And we figured out a contract and I've been with them ever since. This is the painting I use for the main print. It's a painting I started and I worked on it for more than a year because sometimes I stop and start, sometimes I have an idea, sometimes I don't. So I started the background, it sat for a year, and then I started stenciling on top of it using a shadow effect. I added paint drips. I just was having lots of fun. These leaves are actually made from some hand printed papers that I love to do. I make a bunch of the papers ahead of time and then I can cut shapes, flowers, leaves, whatever I want out of them. So each of these leaves is, a, is part of a paper. I Mod Podge it on. I added black outlines. I added outlines with a fine metallic marker. And then if you look closely, you can see there's gold bubbled paint on top of the leaves. That happened by accident. I had put some of the gold paint on to highlight it and then I was using a heat gun to dry it and it accidentally bubbled. And I thought, oh, that's fun. I think I'll keep bubbling. So each of the ones I put more gold metallic paint and bubbled it. This is another painting I did. I did a background and then a lot of it is stenciled and then I did a gold metallic drip over the top of it, which is great because it ended up being this piece of fabric. So you can see. When I paint, I feel like I'm playing. People say, oh, I love your paintings. I say, well, I just have fun. It's my happy place. It's a place I go when I just need to be by myself, be creative, have fun. I think you can tell that by my colors. A little girl once told me her favorite color was rainbow, and I decided my favorite color was rainbow too. Although aquas and teals are second, probably. When I start designing a fabric line, I start with a main print, and then I do coordinates to go with it. I think in terms of light, medium, and dark, small, medium, and large, and I always love to throw some kind of tonal in there um, so the whole collection kind of works together. This is Garden Bright. Um, as you see, I don't have any of the main print left. That's one of the reasons we're re-releasing it. I've had quilters message me on Facebook almost every week saying, where, where can I find Shine, the main print in Garden Bright? And now it's coming out this fall. Um, this is a tonal that I did. It was actually a stripe that I scanned in and had made a stripe bottom. This is a tonal piece. I painted the blue-green colorway, and then I used my computer to create a matching colorway in reds, yellows. The same thing happened with the dot. I did the blue one first and created the red one digitally. This is this painting. You can see 
the oranges at the top working their ways into the greens and blues. One of the things about my collection is that it can be coordinated with all the rest of my collections. This is Garden Bright, this is Garden Brighter, and you can see they all go together. So if you still have Garden Brighter in your shop, go ahead and order some more of Garden Bright and they will all work together. This is Sunshine in the Garden. It's the free project on the Free Spirit website. You can see I like to piece my backs, so the backs are interest, as interesting as the fronts. This is a great way to use the main print. Cut it into strips and add black and add blocks around it, and you can use it as a panel print. Here's my goodie bag. This is a tote pattern that I got off of American Patchwork and Quilting. I did some little goodie bags for makeup or travel. Um, put your lunch in there if you want to. Just fun little bags, little tassel to go with it. This is a laptop cover that I made. See my laptop in there? I've had shop owners say that people have recovered their chairs, they've made pillows. You can buy my fabric and cover canvases with it and then it looks like my art is hanging on your wall. I just want to say that I hope everyone's safe, happy, healthy, and keep creating. Thanks.